In this video, I just want to talk a little bit about the uh, quizzes, which I've now just completed. So there's two things. First, I made a document talking about um, these quizzes. So there's going to be uh, seven quizzes. Only five are going to count. So I'm going to drop the lowest two quiz grades. Only five will count. So this is the reason for the quizzes. Um, for years, I would say the biggest complaint, as evidenced by the teaching evaluations for my classes, has been that the exams count for too much. Um, at the time, I think it counted for like 75% of your grade. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, um, it's, it's a reflection of two things. One, it's just a reflection of the fact that the way that economics is structured it's a lot like how one learns a science where um, memorization and some degree of understanding is important. And really the best way to get that is using a test. Um, so my economics class is not unique. Most economics classes um, have a heavy exam waiting for the final grade. But what I always worry about is whether I'm preparing you enough for those exams. So I found a, a, a pretty good medium between the two. And so what I've structured here um, with these quizzes is I've structured them as almost kind of like a mini exam. So um, it's got fewer questions, but it is timed and you do have only one attempt. Um, the um, each each quiz will have eight questions, six of which will be multiple choice, and two questions that will involve writing a few sentences. Nothing too major. For the very first quiz, and only the first quiz, I will give you two attempts to do quiz one. With the idea being this is your first time doing the quiz, you're going to want to have some idea of you know, what to expect. So rather than make a practice quiz and it not being accurate, um, I've decided to make, you know, to give you two attempts to do just quiz one, and it would have to be completed within that 45-minute time period. Um, otherwise, um, quizzes two through seven, you'll have only one attempt. Um, let's talk about what the uh, settings are, since I think showing you the settings is usually a pretty helpful way of understanding um, what you're going to see here. So let's look at um, number two. So as I indicate here, you have only one attempt. Here for quiz two, it's the quizzes two, three, and four all have a common deadline of October 23rd as you can see right here. Then 5, 6, and 7 all have a common deadline of November 27th. Quiz 1 just has to be done by the 18th. Now, when you do these quizzes, again, you have only one attempt, and you have to again do it in 45 minutes, it's going to send the score to the gradebook immediately. So you'll immediately know what score you got. But you're not going to get the feedback, like what you got right, what you got wrong, until everyone has taken the quiz, which won't appear until 1024. Um, so it's only at 1024 when you're going to know what is right and what is wrong. I don't want to, dis let me say this very clearly, I don't want to discourage anyone from working ahead, from trying to do well. If you are in a situation where you have completed it and you really want to know what you got right, what you got wrong, so as to prepare for the exam much better, send me an email and I will um, give you the feedback um, just to help you understand it better. Again, quiz one is a little bit different with quiz one. you do have the two attempts. So you would do it once, it'll tell you 
what you got right, what you got wrong, like it does for the homework, then you could do it again. So, um, again, only need to worry about, um, you only need to worry about the, um, quizzes. The quizzes all have the same deadline as the homework assignments and everything is due before then the exam becomes available for you. So, um, let's finish this up by talking about how you'll see these quizzes. So what I did is I organized the quizzes with the topic that it covers. So here for quiz one, it's in demand and supply. So I put a little checkbox there, scroll all the way down, and there's where you can do the quiz. Same for others, so this is topic four, this is GDP. You'll see I added the checklist, scroll all the way down, there you can take the quiz. Okay, I hope that helps understand um, these quizzes. Um, give me your feedback, um, both before the end of the semester, um, as well as at the end of the semester, about whether these quizzes you think are helping you prepare better for the exams.